I said on Monday that uh, if you are a person who you've been listening to the broadcast for a while and you were with me when we were teaching through the Gospel of Mark, then you are familiar with the plot. And the plot that I'm referring to is the plot that eventually put Jesus Christ on that cross at Calvary. But it's interesting to watch the progression of the ministry. As I said uh, earlier in the week that uh, the ministry of Jesus Christ bridged off the ministry of John the Baptist. And uh, it was all prophesied that John the Baptist would decrease. And, of course, we know that uh, he was beheaded. And uh, the ministry of Jesus began kind of subtle in the beginnings. And he would, he would go to the synagogues, and there he would, he would preach in the synagogues. And then as his uh, ministry began to grow and expand, he would go to houses. And then the, the houses got to where they couldn't hold him. Mean, you remember uh, the time that uh, he was having a meeting in, the, in a house, and the crowds were, were full, of the, or the house was full of the crowd, and then the crowds were thronged around the house, and there were these four men, and they were bringing their friend to the meeting so that uh, Jesus could bring healing to them, or to the man. And uh, they couldn't get in because of the crowd. And so they had to go down through the roof. And I find it to be intriguing that when uh, all of that began to, to happen, and it's described to us in the Gospel of Mark, how that they lowered that man down there with the, with the ropes on a mat so that he'd be right before Jesus and uh, sitting right there on the front row. Who was there? But the Pharisees. They were always there. And the reason why they were there in those early days was just to disrupt. And they would, they would ask him stupid questions, just trying to f- trip him up somewhere so they could find something that they could take back to the council and say, this is what he did. He blasphemed or he somehow or another spoke evil against the government so that they could accuse him and uh, have him killed. And then as the things progressed and they went from just trying to disrupt to discredit him and to uh, bring false accusations against him and to somehow or another tarnish his reputation. Anything to cause these crowds to abandon him. But the crowds didn't get f- smaller. They went from being crowds to being multitudes. And all of this was very threatening to this council in Jerusalem because they saw the heart of the people were going toward this man. And that was a tremendous threat to everything that they represented. So Scripture tells us that they convened the council and they plotted and they made a determination There's only one way we're going to be able to stop this man. And all of the popularity that he has and all the crowds and multitudes that's following him, there's only one way that we're going to end this. We've got to kill him. And that was the plot. And we see the plot as it unfolds. And we know that they were successful, or so they thought. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.